go ahead and try and solve this once and for all. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to bust out a little simple ring and then we're going to create the toolpath for it and take it into Mach 3. So let's do us a simple quick little band. Apparently it's going to be awfully wide. doing this on my old XP machine so it's going to take it a while. Alright, so here's our simple little band. Let's go ahead and slap a little bit of text in here. never fails. Hold on. Let me take this call. Alright, let's get back to this. So we've got our toolpath in and we need to raise it up. I forgot what I recessed that at. 0.8. So we're going to click that. 0.8. Add. So there we have our nice wide, wow that thing is wide, band that we're going to create our toolpath on. So let's create our vector for the toolpath. Okay, so that's what we're going to constrain our toolpath to. Make sure we do 90 degrees for the raster angle because this is actually rotated uh, 90 degrees. This is going to actually be up here, but the way ArtCam allows you to draw is you can perceive things better from left to right instead of up and down. So we've got to tell it that we want to machine at 90 degrees, which is then going to take and machine the, or raster in this direction instead of if you leave this at zero it's going to rotate all the way around the cylinder step over around the cylinder again so now we're going to pick a tool and I'm just going to use the 16th ball nose end mill to speed things up so you can see it starts from the bottom actually let's go ahead and restart that so we can see Okay, so when the machine, when the wax is on the machine, this right here is A0. This down here is A180. And as you can see by our uh, orientation marks, that Z0 is in the center line. Y is in the center line front to back. And X is in the center left to right. Or actually, yeah. This would be X, this is Y, and this is Z. So if we rotate this, and it's going to be sitting on the machine, something like this, I'm just doing it here so we can see where the toolpath actually starts. This up here is A0. It rotates all the way around, starts at A180, or minus A180, comes around to A0, and then back around to 180. That gets us our 360 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and let it finish. Okay, so here you can see we've completed the toolpath.
and this extra part you see coming out left to right is the vector that we told it to constrain to from here to here this dead white area and if we zoom out even further you can see where it actually comes up goes all the way around comes in starts cutting it comes out and goes back to A0 so now let's go ahead and save this toolpath we're going to save it as the model master 4-axis rotary. I use this one for rotaries and I use this one for flat pieces whether it be index, flips, or just regular flat pieces. I always use that one. So we're going to use the 4-axis rotary. Let's see where we're saving this to. Let's just go ahead and overwrite that one. make sure that that actually did it had a yes let's replace that all right I did that already so now we're gonna come here to Mach 3 load G code here it is and there's our toolpath right there so you can see we're not zero on anything so the very first thing you want to do is you want to set up your wax left to right, top to bottom, your zero points, and zero out all of these. Now when you zero your Z, you get it down to zero and then raise it up out of the way so you can put your wax in. As you can see, my arrow for the actual tool tip moves up. Now if we come over here to our G code, you can see that the very first couple lines are Z is up out of the way, it goes to A0 for its reference point, then it goes to minus essentially 180 degrees. X is going to move over to the start point, which is where we told it to constrain our toolpath with the vector. It's essentially going to be right here, then it's going to start going back and forth and your A axis is going to increment whatever the step over for the tool was. And as we go across, and let's go to the toolpath view so we can see it better. Here's our actual Z plunge and it's start cutting right there. As we step through this toolpath, you can actually see it over here line by line steps. Now you can see here we've gone to A minus 53 which is just going to be moving around so now if we go to here and let's go to the end of it you can see that it started at A minus 180 degrees and here it's come all the way around to the A179 so it's made a complete 360 degree revolution around the outside diameter now if we want to watch it actually cut we'll go ahead and cycle start it our Z moves out of the way it's going to rotate to minus 179 degrees here it comes in right over here here you can see it stepping through you can actually see the lines rotate each time it goes around so if we go to program run we're going to feed rate override just to make it run faster 
I don't have it hooked to a machine right now, so it's just running through the paces. Feed hold this so we can rotate our model a little bit. You can actually see what it's doing. I hope this helps.